Hey everyone, what is up? Dang it, hold on. Vic the High Desert Man. And uh, coming at you with another cigar review that has at this point been reviewed by quite a few people in places. <clears throat> uh, however, I just got my hands on this cigar recently. Thank you, COVID. I, uh, so I, while I was in Napa, California for a customer visit, I found a little shop called Napa Cigars and I purchased a Brulee Blue, which I smoked there on the site. And then I also purchased an Unstolen Valor. And then when I got home from that trip, I had a box from David from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust waiting for me and it had a couple more unstolen valors in it a couple more blues and a couple uh, mi carita tricky trocas fantastic i love that cigar it is a six by 52 vitola and i i really dig the muestra uh, muestra de saca lineup because basically uh all the cigars that show up in that line are uh the, it, the the line was started in 2017 and it was it was done by steve to sort of highlight his blending process uh and how he comes up with blends and stuff all the cigars are different um and each time one comes out it's a new blend it's a new vitola and uh and the vitola is blended specifically uh, the blend is specific to the Vitola. Anyways, they're paired up. I'll get to the deets on it in just a moment. Let's uh, let's take a look at this cigar. It's gorgeous. It's got a beautiful, just mostly brown, but just slightly reddish hue to it. The it's just a nice looking blend. It is wrapped really, really well. And it uh, I just cut the cap off, but it looks to me Looks like it was possibly a, just a double cap. Anyways, it's a really good looking stick. It is a uh, fairly firm stick. Draws a little tight. Let's see where we're at on the Cigar Medics here. Holy crap, I'm at 73. Well, I, I can't smoke this cigar. I'm gonna have to let it sit. That's part of the reason why it's so tight. Okay, so this cigar does come in a coffin as I think pretty much all them, yeah, all the Moista de Sacas have come in a coffin. Let's see where we're at on this one. All right, this one's at 69%. Still a little bit high, but better than that other one. The other one was way too high. Oh, it's got a nice cold draw. A little bit of uh, dry cracker, toast flavor, some chocolate. Muerste means samples or sa uh, samples of blends. And th that's the Spanish translation, I guess. And, uh, and it's samples of Saka, basically. Uh, typically, I believe, they're blended by Steve Saka, but this one was not done by Steve Saka. This one was blended by Raul Disla, or Disla, uh, who is the production manager of Nicaraguan American Cigars SA, which is where the cigar was produced. It's the first one in the lineup that Steve has described as being uh, full-bodied. He's come out with some fantastic cigars. Um, of course, he used to work for Drew Estate. Wow, man, that's pretty nice. So the blend, it's a Nicaraguan Puro, wrapper binder filler, grown with Cuban seed tobacco. So the Cuban seed was, uh, taken to Nicaragua, grown there. 
Um, let's see, there were four different blends in the creation of this particular stick. There were four different blends that Raul came up with. Raul and Steve smoked those blends. They disagreed on which one they liked the most. Guess who won? This is the blend that Steve liked the most. It's got a great retro hill. Pretty smooth, a little bit, just a little bit of bite in the nose. It's nice. Uh, the cigar originally was going to be called Stolen Valor. He changed it to Unstolen Valor because, because he gave credit to Raul for blending the cigar. So he felt that it was fitting to change the name of the cigar. I would sure like the opportunity to meet Steve. I suppose I, I will at some point. Once I get back on uh, a regular travel schedule and stuff, it's got some great flavors. <clears throat> I mean, th th these are the flavors that uh, good Nicaraguan puros that I've had over the years. This is this is that flavor profile, similar to. Uh, okay, so it's similar to the. Uh, oh, what was that? Gosh darn it, Los Los Caidos. Okay kind of similar to the Los Kaidos, but this is much more refined uh, already. I can tell it's more refined. It, um, it it tastes like it's going to be pretty complex. Really nice retro hill. It's got a decent body so far. It's, um, it's favoring the back of my throat. Not really washing forward too much yet. It's got some cedar notes. All right, I'm going to smoke on it for a while. We'll come back in a little while and uh, talk about it. I don't know if I'll come back at the half or uh, just smoke it down and take my notes and catch you guys at the end, but uh, we'll catch you in a little bit. Stick around. About the halfway point right now, and it's a really good cigar. Uh, the draw is a little too tight, probably because the humidity was a little higher than I typically would do. Uh, I'd like my cigars more around 63 to 65 percent. This was at 69, and um, and it is rolled kind of tight, but it's not a big thing. It's I. I I am struggling just a little bit to get enough smoke through it. It's really good, although it's sort of unidimensional. Hasn't really changed a whole lot. I'm, I'm getting the same amount of spice in the nose. I'm getting the same cedar and, and woody notes. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of cinnamon now and a little bit of espresso. The espresso is really mild and it's really blended in with everything else, but it is there. Very smooth in the retro hail. The body, I would not say this is full body. It is, to me, it's medium. Might be leaning into medium full, but uh, I'm pretty much putting it at medium. Construction is fantastic. It's burning great. Haven't had any issues with the burn. The flavors are just really nice. Even though it's sort of unidimensional, it's very consistent in the flavors. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to continue on. We'll catch you at the end of the cigar, guys. Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, Muerte de, Muerte de Saca, Unstolen Valor. It was a good stick. <clears throat> it lasted a long time. I didn't time it, but but it lasted a long time. So uh, that was pretty nice. The, the flavor you get through the whole cigar primarily is a cedar, maybe a little bit of oak mix, and um, in the pepper. It's got a little bit of leather notes. The espresso is, the espresso flavor is interesting because it's, it's somewhere between, uh, it's somewhere between my Tanzanian pea berry, which is a, a fruity sort of bold 
a, a kind of bold, fruitier uh, espresso. I'm spacing it right now from Lost Dutchman Coffee, the other, uh, the uh, Jacob's Dynamite Check, which tends to have woodier, smokier notes. Um, so it was kind of a mix between that, but it had some of that espresso uh, sort of essence to it. Body is medium on it. It's it has picked up in this last uh, third here. It, it has definitely picked up, but still just medium strength, medium. Um, flavors are just very consistent. It's a really good smoke, and it's good. It, it's it's the same level same level of good all the way through. So it's been pretty nice. Now flavor wise, it did lack just a little bit for me. In um, I don't know the, the the flavor profile is nice, but uh, given my druthers, I'd rather have uh, something a little bit bolder, a little bit heavier. So construction was a five. The construction of this cigar is beautiful. It stands out. Um, I mean, there's a lot of really well constructed cigars out there. But every once in a while you get a cigar that just seems somehow to be constructed nicer. And that's what this one was. Burn was a five. Burned good the whole time. The flavor I gave a four for the reasons I explained. The body was a four. Transition, two. It only really started transitioning at the end here and it just started getting a little, little bit heavier. Uh, the flavors are amped up same flavors just a little bit more amped up the overall blend of the flavors is really nice price i gave the price a three just straight down the middle of the road it lists for 17.95 i paid 25 bucks for this one thank you david thank you dunbarton tobacco and trust for sending me two more uh, that i can enjoy uh, so I, I, I based it on the price on the MSRP and not what I paid because I paid California pricing. So that made the overall total a 3.8, which is definitely above average. Really good cigar. Uh, if the price was just a little lower, it would have done better on the price and it would be, um, it would be a good cigar to uh, just have every once in a while. It's, it's a nice stick. I would, um, I think I would definitely like to keep a couple of these in the humidor. Super smooth in the nose. The retro hail really shines on this cigar. Really brings out the leather, the cedar, and the kind of uh, oaky notes. And yeah, that's about it, guys. So hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, stay rugged.